Good morning. Today, I'm gonna work on building a Twitter bot or a social media bot. And initially in my mind, I was thinking of doing something that's like a hourly random YouTube channel. However, the problem with that is that there's not really a list of all YouTube channels ever. And that's gonna come up with a lot of errors if I want to just do random URLs. So I'm gonna do some brainstorming. I don't know if that is what I'm gonna do yet, but I'm gonna be filming it as I go and each little update, cause this is kind of like a vlog, each little update, I'm gonna be moving around because otherwise you're gonna see this. That's, act that's actually gonna be me basically the whole time. So I'm gonna try to get this done today within 24 hours and I'll keep you updated. Let's go. All right, so that was quicker than expected. I brainstormed a couple ideas like a random URL or an hourly bird photo, but then something came across and I was thinking a random Wikipedia page. Since they've got the random article button, then I can use that. That's a little bit overdone, I saw. Not really all those bots are in use, and I don't even think a lot of them are bots. They're just people posting Wikipedia pages. But Wikipedia has a lot of other things to their disposal, such as a random species. So I'm gonna do a random species bot, and for every page that it brings up, I'm gonna have it checked to make sure that there's a photo, and then have that be posted every hour the name and the photo. So, time to get to work. All right, so almost immediately I ran into my first problem. I have never coded in Python before. I was hoping I could get away with doing this in JavaScript, but it looks like the library you need for the API no longer exists. I might just not be looking in the right spot, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna give it a try with Python. In the past, I've connected with every Spongebob frame in order. Shout out to you. Hey. <laughs> and they directed me to Tweepy, which is the Python library, which is still active, and I think that's what most people use. So I'm gonna have to give it a go. I don't think it's gonna be some very hard code, so this will just be a learning experience that I'm gonna have to do. So we'll go forward. Oh my gosh. So, I got it. It runs the script, it searches for the wiki species pages, and it only prints it out if it's got a figure in it. It's exactly what I want. And holy moly, if, I, if I'm able to capture the reaction that I had on stream while it happened, I'll put it right here. Hopefully that got entered. But anyway, one thing that I learned throughout this is of an application or, I don't know, a Python integration, a plugin, I don't know what it's called, but I know it's called Beautiful Soup, actually. And what it does is it parse, it's a parser. In layman terms, that means just combing through all the data. And so, it's pretty cool. I am super stoked. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just spent like five hours being frustrated and shouts out to the Twitch chat that was in there because they helped so much. They were way more knowledgeable with Python than I was. I ran into so many errors, but we got it done. Now, next thing up is I gotta eat, right? I. I've been stressing over this all morning. I gotta eat, I gotta shower. I haven't even showered yet today. I <laughs> kinda got into it a little overzealously, but we're doing it. And then once I shower and eat, and then I am gonna come back to the computer and we are going to integrate it into Twitter and Facebook you, uh, APIs probably. So I just am gonna have it print 
one thing from that script every hour. And it should be good. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. All right. Back to it. So something I didn't mention about uh, the Twitter API, building a Twitter bot, is that you need a developer Twitter account. And I've actually signed up for this a while ago, but it takes at least 24 hours. So you can't really sign up and get a bot posted in the same day. You have to be approved. So that's just something that I wanted to go over because I already have an account because I tried to make that YouTube bot well, I started that YouTube bot a little while ago and ran into that error and was like, I'm gonna come back to this. So yeah, that's it. All right. I did it. <laughs> uh, it's working. I can change the time that it's coming out. However, you know, funny that I was just talking about Twitter development accounts because apparently I set it up under my main Twitter account. DUBY Industries. That's turning into <laughs> species every hour now, or hourly species is what I think I called it. So, I'll make a new Twitter account for myself, but this is getting turned into that because I want the bot to start. So, gotta make some graphics now, and that's what I'm gonna get up to. So, this is what I have. You know, very nice. I'm pretty happy about it. And I switched over my main Twitter account to now be the Twitter bot. Hey, I mean, the tag was open, so that's kind of cool. You know, it was uh, at hourly species. And now I've got the bot running. However, it's set for every hour. And I think it's set until the next hour. So. This will probably be my last update for the day. I might do another one at night, but I'm gonna just let it run. And hopefully it works and it keeps producing. And I might do a couple follow-ups talking about it actually going now, and then I might, you know, follow some people and other bots and, well, bot creators, uh, and go from there. So we'll see, but should be running, I hope. It's rebranded and See you in the epilogue. The next day. So, it works. Um, it's been posting all night, and I'm really happy about it. I, after talking to my partner about just the branding and everything too, she suggested that I go in a different direction. And so I've updated that as well. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna continue posting, but before I do much else with it, I just want it to create a backlog of a bunch of different posts it's going to be posting for every hour and go follow it learn something new um see cool photos of different things in the world and that's where i'm going to end the video